Hello and welcome to my uh, Blackboard mobile learning app. As you can see here, we've got the app on my home screen. I'm just going to go ahead and go into it. So this is this is what will be greeted by once you log in and you put all your details. So if we go on the dashboard, this is your main your main area. As you can see, no feed items. We could, we we navigate using this this little icon in the top hand left top left hand should I say and here we have all of my units that I'm doing on my course so for example we'll, we'll, we'll dive into computer applications it'll just quickly load all the information up we can see announcements that have been made um, we, we always seem to navigate with the icon on the top left um, so if we, we go back in there we've got all, all the announcements that have been made in favour of these um, and then just to go back, we'll just we'll just press the back button. You've got your contacts, um, lectures, all the lectures that uh, we've had, and uh, we've had them recorded as well. So we've got the recordings, or all, all the things. If you want to go onto them, it'll just download quickly, and it'll open it up. Um, like again, you can favourite these. Um, all the lectures there. We've got the topics. Um, practicals, these are all the practicals that we've been given in all the, it's just a, a, a document holding system so keep all the documents if you weren't, if you couldn't attend a, a lecture or a practical. These are the assignments that we've been given so we've been given all the details and stuff it, like again if you've missed a, a lecture or something. We've got the uh, overview of the course. We can always favourite favorite this by just uh, tapping the favourite, the little star. We can also view in browser if you press this icon in the top right hand. Um, so yeah, that's that's our overview. Um, the recap recordings are in located in our lectures. As you can see here, lecture one recording. Forums, this is where um, our group can have a discussion board, so we've got one of them set up. And that's pretty much it. It's the same with all, all of our, all of our units. Um, as you can see there, menu. So this is what you'll be given. If we take a quick look at the settings, which is just located on the bottom left, we'll uh, get notifications. For some reason, these don't load up for me, but um, I'm sure you can just uh, control all the notifications that you get received through the app. You can link it to your Dropbox account. So if we, if we wanted to do that, it would just open up our Dropbox. Uh, privacy settings, um, remember login details, um, and then we've just got like the license agreements and information there. Open source licenses again. It's a, it's an open source software, so it's uh, it's free and you can uh, modify it. And then we have the option to log out. Um, so that's pretty much it. You've got a help help button located on the bottom right of your screen if you're struggling to use the app we'll just click help and it'll br bring up the website and it'll show you how to use how to install and purchase available features and everything like that so um, it just really depends on what your school uploads you can get tests on here I, b I believe we do have a test we got like past papers and stuff that have been put up so let's let's see past papers we can just access one of these and we can we can go through and answer it so it's a, it's a really good feature and um, it's really handy to if you if you miss a lecture or a, or a practical as i said you can easily catch up so that was a quick uh quick go through of the blackboard mobile learning app and uh, i hope it's been useful if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to ask and uh, thank you very much.